know what's really awesome? Having an abundance of eggs. I have several friends of mine that have chickens and they give me all their eggs. I have to force myself to eat them though, because I don't really choose to eat eggs, you know? I mean, I think they're really good for you, and when they're done right, you don't regret eating them, but, you know, Left to my own devices, so like I wouldn't choose to eat eggs. Motherfucker! I should have switched lanes! <laughs> it's okay. Let's go faster, baby, so we can get through this. It's just like sex. I'm like, when is this gonna be over? <laughs> enjoy sex. I mean, I guess it's like pleasurable, but I don't know. I, I'd rather dance, you know? Because <laughs> like, I get that same kind of release from dancing as I would like coming all over myself, you know? somebody that was like real hell-bent on like giving me an orgasm mainly because like I always felt like that was a way for them to like control me and that's very true you know a lot of people withhold sex because they know that their partner wants it or needs it and they're a piece of shit narcissist, so they're not gonna give in because they can manipulate the person that they're with. But, yeah man, I tend to not enjoy things that are just like yet another way for people to control each other, you know? I'm trying to find running themes to my life and why I have the sentiment that I do towards things. You know, because I'm a pretty unconventional person. Like, I'm asking myself these questions like, why am I so opposed to this? Why am I so disgusted by that? Rather than just assume that I'm right. Let's analyze why we're right. Let's analyze why everybody else in society is wrong. I don't know, man. Sex is just really overrated. And people always make the assumption that, like, oh, well, I just haven't been made love to. That's it! I've never had anything positive happen in the bedroom. That's why I have the opinion that I do want it. No, I'm just not weak in that area, honey. That's all. It's like people ask me, how do you work in fast food and not be tempted to eat all this shit that you sell there? And I'm like, well, it's not just because of the clientele that have no self-control. It's mainly because once you know the truth about like mass consumption, once you know the truth about the food industry and really all industries, it's like you can't enjoy it the way that you did before. You know? Like the genetically modified products just don't taste the same because you know that they're fake. So it's like people like fake stuff though. They like 
fake food, fake tits, fake sex, fake presidents, fake education, fake history. It's like, what part of you is not fake? What part of your reality is not conjured by some fucking sorcerers or some shit, you know? It's like, I know that that's a really daunting reality. I know that that's a really, like, depressing idea. But I guess because it's one that I've always been open to, it doesn't really shock me or upset me anywhere near as much as it does people that really thought that the world was better, you know? And I'm lucky for that. But at the same time, I mean, I still get down about it. But I'm telling you, the worse off things get, people are going to start committing suicide. Like, you wouldn't believe. Because they can't handle the slightest amount of stress. I mean, like, you see how people react to everything. And they're pretty much encouraged to just react and not have any consciousness about that. You know? Can I, can I switch lane? I'm on the switch lane. I do voices because they're funny. And the more I got in tune with like the comp the comedy side, like, I can't not do it now, <laughs> and it might freak people out, but all the people I freak out are really boring and lame, so, I, uh, I don't seem to mind that they leave my channel, I love it when people threaten to unsubscribe to me. As if my channel ever gave off the impression that I need subscriptions or subscribers or whatever. It's like, we don't all want everybody's seal of approval. That's why so many people like make inflammatory comments. Like they're going the route of like, I'm going to say shocking things and that's what's going to get me popular, I'm going to make a name for myself by saying things that are rude or mean. And these people are always the ones that think they're telling it like it is. Honey, you don't even know what it is. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. But I think that everybody is taking the hypocrisy pill. You know the hypocrisy pill? That's the one that convinces you that you can tell other people what to do and, and not have to practice anything that you fucking preach. That's a hypocrisy pill. Unfortunately, yeah, most people, most people in Western civilization have taken it, and they've they've taken like ridiculous amounts of it. <laughs> well, it never occurred to me that that was right. It never occurred to me that like I could get away with that, you know? Because every time I've ever like been hypocritical about anything, I just want to kill myself. So, in order to self-preserve, I ain't gonna be hypocrite in ways I can avoid. 